So folks, today at 2 p.m. we'll be doing a live paint here at the Phoenix Outdoor Show. We're very excited about that. They asked us to do that, so we'll be doing one today and one tomorrow. So we will film the paint. It's going to be one that you've all seen before. We're going to film the patchwork first today. These people, a lot of them have not seen this bait yet. So y'all have a very blessed day. We'll catch you later. that's on that poster up there yeah he got one eye goes that way and one eye goes that way and both front feet turn out like that okay hello folks and welcome back to ugly dog lures we're at the, the outdoor show and we're going to paint a bait we're going to be doing two tomorrow, one at 10 and one at 2 and one today. So we're going to do a patchwork perch today, which is a very simple pattern, as you all know. Uh, so let's just jump right on into it. We're going to be using our Createx yellow, and that's our first color, and we're going to be painting a 2.5 square bill. Come on up closer, folks. You can jump in here anytime. If you have questions, just ask them. We will stop right there and answer them. So, so we're going to start on our little square bill. Start laying in our belly on this bait. The airbrush we're using is an Iwata HPCS, and this is a master detail brush right here, and it has a 0.2 needle in it. I can draw hairline with this brush. We're going to heat set this paint. See, for all you outdoors guys, there's more use than a hair dryer than hair. So, oh, definitely is. Now we're going to clean our brush out and we'll jump to our next color, which is going to be Wicked Orange. And it's a Createx color too. So, and uh, what I use to clean my brush is windshield washer fluid and 70% alcohol. So, Now if you're around tomorrow, we'll do two different baits in the paints, one at 10 and one at two. So, but this is where we're starting today. You always clean your airbrush really, really good. Okay, wicked orange. Always shake your paints really well too because they will settle out. So, and if you're interested in learning how to do this, we have a YouTube channel, and there's uh, teaching videos on the YouTube channel on how to do it. Wicked Orange. And one thing you learn right quick is trigger control. The harder you pull this trigger back and push down, the more pain it's going to just splurge. So, trigger control is very important. Well, that's it for the that color. Uh, we'll see if Melissa will get a finished bait off of there, off the rack. Y'all are gonna think I lost my mind before we're done, but it's the finished end product that we're looking for. That is the paint we're doing today. So, pretty cool stuff, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, 26 years ago, October the 8th. No. Don't worry, I can outrun her. <laughs> my pickup's faster than hers. <laughs> that Chevrolet can't catch my Hemi. So. Okay, let's heat set our orange.
Then we'll move on to purple. And it's a pearl plum. It's a Createx paint also. So most of the paints that I use are going to be Createx. Createx paints you do not have to thin as the other paints you do. So it's just one less step. Now this is where you get to use your imagination. You can put any pattern that you want into this bait. You want some purple right there, some purple up above that tail. Let's put some purple here. And let's give him a purple nose on this one. Fade a little bit of that purple back up the head of that bait. So and that's it for the purple. So, well now we get to clean our brush again. When I do these in my shop, I'll do like 50 at a time. And that way I'm not cleaning my brushes often, but I wanted y'all to see exactly how that we do these baits. So, and I got a lot bigger spray bottles and a lot of different stuff in there, so. And after each color that we paint, we're going to heat set it and then on the very end we'll wrap and use our final color these a lot I ain't got near as much power as my other ones honey cool we paint probably close to a thousand baits a month so, and this all happens after work and on the weekend. We're going to go to our Caribbean blue on this one. And I'll have paint everywhere before we're done, I promise you. And Caribbean blue. Now we're going to paint our gills. Plates blue. Then we're going to heat set them and put one more coat on the blue. The blue don't show up as well if you just single coat it. I got stuff caught up everywhere, don't I? The next color we're going to run off with is going to be a pearl dark green. Yeah, I got to pull my glasses down because I can see fine far off. I just up close, I'm blind as a bat. So let's heat set that just a little there. Our 
Dark green. You can fade your dark green into your purples and just lay it wherever you want to see it in that bait. Heat set that and hit it again. Like I said, you can make it your own very easily. You just change your colors up. You can do any colors you want. These are just a lot of the colors that we have found are very popular and catch a lot of fish. Clean our brush out. Do y'all have any questions for me? I'm trying to explain every step as I go. Everything's just opposite from my shop in here, so I'm having to retrain myself to put stuff up. So this is called tulle. You see that? It's called tulle. It's for wedding dresses. The tulle will actually be the wrap for this bait. And when you're wrapping baits, make sure you get a tight pull on them. You pick that up and get a tight pull. Sepia, wicked color sepia, which is a golden brown color. Works very well with what we're doing. Took me a long time to figure this out. Nobody else has this. We actually are the only ones that has this pattern right now. So we're going to come over this with a light coat and then we'll heat set it and come back over it with one more coat. Adjusting my air pressure a little bit.
You can see when it dries, it brightens up up on top. You see how it brightened up? Yeah. That's why you double and triple coat them. And you want to leave this wrap on until it's good and dry. I'll heat set mine, so. Looks black now, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we got under here. Y'all want to? There you go. Yeah, it's awesome. See, I thought I'd lost my mind for a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> so that's just one of the tricks that we have up our sleeves. We have a lot of them. So I've been doing this a long time. It is an awesome bait. It's a very proven bait to catch fish. This is my eyes. <laughs> I have lots of different baits. So you can pick what color eyes you want to put on this bait. Let's see, let me look here, it's easy. I always let somebody else make that decision. You just start looking through those and find something there. You like the blue ones? Okay, we'll put the blue ones on it. No, 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 no. Where's it hiding at over here? There it is. Not a good lighting in here as there is in the shop. So we set them back at a little bit of an angle to the back on this bait. This is when the bait comes to life. It's fishing to come to life. We're not done yet. We're going to untape the bill. This is her favorite part. This bait right here is actually wandering all over Australia and Canada right now. We've shipped them all the way up there now. Okay. And yes, she does let me play with knives every once in a while. So. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to epoxy this bait. And this is the epoxy that we use. It's a BSI. It's 4,500 pounds, foot pound of epoxy. You gotta mix it to exact amounts and you'll get a lot better results.
Young lady, would you like to put glitter in this bait? I brought two kinds with me, two colors. <laughs> That's your call. I leave it up to her a lot too. So. I don't like glitter in it. I think it takes it away. I so I do like rosy posters and stuff, and I have an issue with my glitter exploding every time I try to use it. <laughs> so I don't know if I can be trusted with glitter. <laughs> Same here with glitter. How's everything going there, young man? Just, just, uh, the idea is to keep moving. Keep, keep yes. Moving. Yes. Uh, hey, one CC. I don't. I can't let go of the end of that. But just a hair over one. There's lots of different products out there that people use to coat their baits, but for us, this product works best in our program. That epoxy works best when it's about 68 to 72 degrees. Here's when it flows the best and works the best. I can control that in my shop. I can't control that in here. So. If you mix it to exact amounts, five hours it'll be hard on this particular epoxy. Others takes longer, like if you use a UV epoxy, you're looking at three days under a UV light for it to cure. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a instructional videos on my YouTube on how to do all this. You always got to watch out for them crazy hairs. Any brush that you use, you'll always lose a hair or two out of that brush. We've tried everything.